Arsenal, a horrible night for Arsenal. Where and how did that go wrong? Uh, a little bit everywhere. I think uh, it was a horrible night, as you said, but uh, congratulations to Monaco. They did fight, defended very well, caught us on the break. We had uh, both aspects wrong. We had the chances that we didn't take and uh, we were suicidal uh, defensively because uh, we opened on the second and the third goal. We knew at half time was important not uh, uh, to keep our nerves and uh, with the vast experience we have through this competition, we knew, but so we couldn't afford it. And uh, on that front, we are very guilty, even at 2-1. Uh, how can we, with one minute to go, just leave it open uh, the whole half? It's, it's difficult to understand. Did you see that performance coming from anywhere? No, because uh, we uh, controlled quite well the game. With our first shot on goal, they, had, they scored a deflected ball. Everything went for them tonight, but on top of that, you see as well wh why uh, Monaco has done well in the group stage. They uh, they are well organised and uh, uh, are very physically very strong. They didn't weaken through the game, but we did. How big is the task for you to try and turn this around? They haven't conceded at home in the group. Well, uh, the task is massive now, and uh, the third goal made it even makes it even more difficult. But uh, uh, We'll have a, a go, of course, and uh, see what we can do there. Just how dispiriting is a night like tonight for you and for the players? It's uh, very, very disappointing. And uh, But Champions League is down to performance on the day. And uh, when you don't perform at the level that is requested for 90 minutes, uh, you're punished uh, because the teams have the quality. We knew... Uh, before the game, they absorb you and get you on the break. What happened is exactly that.